And now we look at. And now we look at section 6-4A, bones of the skull. The human head contains 22 bones divided into two groups. And the two groups, the first one is the cranium, which is the, the head, you might say. And then you have the facial uh, bones. So if you, this was the skull, and we have certain portions of the skull uh, that are the cranium part. And then we have certain facial bones that are part of the, uh, the facial structure as well. The cranium is an oval bony case that protects the brain and is formed by eight bones. So we will take a look at those eight uh, bones. And then the face consists of 14 bones. So eight bones in the cranium and 14 bones in the face. And we will also uh, attempt to learn their names and their significance. So it's including the maximala, which is the upper jaw, and the mandible, the lower jaw. So part of the face, there's a number of bones that we're going to be taking a look at. Part of them is the maxilla and the mandible as well. So again, how many, how many bones in the face? 14. And how many bones in the cranium portion? Eight bones. The skull has many small openings in the base that allow the cranial nerves to travel to their destination. And so the way the whole thing is designed is not just one huge shell, but it has a number of openings as well. And so then you have the brain in here that needs to be protected but it has quite a, a channel of nervous system. So we have spinal cords that is going and uh, taking the nerve messages out. So there is openings for that very purpose as well. And again, our skeletal system, you know, the uh, we talk about the vertebrae in the back, in the back, uh, we're going to be looking at that as also protecting the spinal cord. So there's uh, additional protection there as well. Let's take a look at the eight bones of the cranium. And then we'll just look at each one of those. And we begin with occipital bone. And how do we, first of all, account for the eight bones? Uh, we we might look at one, two, three, four, five, six. Say, hey, there's only six. Well, there are six names, but there are actually eight bones. How are they eight bones? So we have two bones for par a parietal bone. And then we have temporal bones. How many of those? Two of those. And we have uh, rest are one, one, and one, and one. And so uh, those... Uh, one, 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 and this should account for uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, total of eight bones because we do have left and right side as well. Uh, so, the way to to remember this, we begin with the occipital bone, and to uh, we can view these things in a clockwise manner. And so start with the septal bone right here. And then we move to the parietal bone, which is right in the center of that. And then next, what we encounter is the frontal bone. And then from frontal bone, we can move into the temporal bone. And so our uh, flow would look like O for occipital bone, P for parietal bone and then F for the frontal bone that comes next and then we can say hey then we go to the last one which is on the side and that's the temporal bone and that's 
and then we can make it a little acronym we can say OPFT and something I thought about is offer offer people fine tea or fresh tea so one of those offer people uh, fine tea or fresh tea and so it helps us to uh, place our uh, hand on occipital bone and move on a clockwise manner towards offer people f uh, fresh tea so it, it we can begin to say occipital parietal bone frontal bone and then end at temporal bone then we cover the two bones that are here the cephanoid bone and ethmoid bone and what is the cephanoid bone it's the internal bone that's inside here and that actually connects to all the other ones as well and then we have the ethmoid bone which is soft uh, tissue as well which is within the nasal cavity uh, there let's uh, take a look at these uh, uh, names and review them so the cranium is made up of how many eight bones so we have one of this two of these one of this two of those one and one then uh, one occipital bone and we then parietal bone, then frontal bone, and temporal bone. And something we talked about is offer uh, people fresh tea or fine tea. So you're offering people some nice fine tea and it helps us to then remember occipital bone, parietal bone, frontal bone, and temporal bone. And that helps us to move in a, cl a, a clockwise manner and starts with occipital bone and comes back to temporal bone. And then in the middle of it, we have the uh, parietal and then we have the frontal, I'm sorry, parietal should be there. And then occipital is down here, parietal and the frontal and then temporal. And so that, that's a flow, a way of remembering that. Then in the, uh, in the when we look at the, uh, this inside of this, uh, the cranium, we ha do have the cephanoid bone, which actually links all these uh, t together. It's a connection point uh, for all of this. And then the ethmoid bone is the light spongy bone between the eye sockets that form part of the nasal cavity. So the nasal cavity is there. Let's take a look at the definition of this. Occipital bone is the hindmost bone of the skull. It forms the back of the skull above the nape. So we have this person and their nose is there and their eyes. And uh, so nape is down here. So right here is the nape. This is their neck. This is the nape. And right there is our occipital bone. The two parietal bones, so uh, right here, the reason why we call it two, because there's one in here and then one on the other side. So there's a, um, uh, what we might call it a, like a crack, but a little division in the middle. And so we have two portions of that, uh, of the parietal bones. And that's where the S comes in. And that is on the top of that. So we have the parietal and then the frontal bone right here this is the frontal bone forms the forehead so that's our frontal 
Then we have two temporal bones. Again, S is the Z because we have one here and one on the other side. So we have one here and one on the other side of the head on, uh, and it's close to the ear region. And those are our temporal bones. Then uh, the cephanoid bones is, is inside the skull. So I'll just put an S for cephanoid. And what it does is, what's the purpose of cephanoid bone? It joins all the bones of the cranium together. So we have a connection of the temporal and the frontal and the parietal and the occipital connected within with the cephanoid bone, uh, cephanoid bone in the middle of it. Then ethmoid bone is the light spongy bone between the eye sockets that forms part of the nasal cavity. So that's the ethmoid uh, bone. We'll look at the occipital bone. It is the hindmost bone of the skull. It forms the back of the skull above the nape. And so right here we have the, the neck and the right here is our nape and right above nape we have what we look at as the occipital uh, bone and the occipital bone and then just going in our clockwise manner we remember we said offer people what fine T and our hairs are temporal, so we look as a T, and uh, and in a clockwise manner we find occipital, parietal, frontal bone, and then our temporal bones. Then also we do have our cephanoid bone and ethmoid bones uh, that are uh, the cephanoid is here, and it connects to all these different bones. And we'll take a look at that as well. And then ethmoid bone is within the nasal cavity. The two parietal bones, we have uh, one on the right side and one we have on the one on the other side. That is the left side. So we have two parietal bones that form the sides and the crown or the top of the uh, cranium. And so, uh, again, going clockwise, we have offer, people, fine, tea, tea time or temporal bones. So we have occipital, parietal bones, then we have our frontal bone, and, and concluding with the temporal bone. And again, we will look at these two cephanoid bone cephanoid bone is right here it connects all the different uh, 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 cranial bones together and then our ethmoid bone is in the nasal cavity now we shift our attention to the frontal bone which is right uh, here and doing our little review we have offer people fine and then ending with t and so our temporal so we have occipital parietal then frontal and temporal bone and so this is our frontal bone and then we will address cephanoid bone which is right here and it connects to all the uh, temporal, occipital, parietal, as well as frontal bone. And then we have our ethmoid bone, which is in the uh, nasal cavity. Then we have our uh, two temporal bones uh, that form the side of the head in the ear region. And so then temporal bones, we have one on the right side and we have one on the on the opposite end which is the left side as well and so again uh, reciting ourselves the uh, offer people frontal I mean fine uh, T okay so that's uh, occipital parietal frontal bones and then temporal bones and we do know that emph 
cephaloid bones does what? It connects to these uh, occipital bone, connects to the parietal bone, connects to the frontal bone, as well as to the temporal bone. So it's the connection point for all those, uh, the, um, our uh, uh, cranial bones. And then ethmoid bone is in the uh, nasal uh, cavity. All right, then we uh, now will focus on cephanoid bone. Cephanoid bone is the, again, like we said, is the connection uh, point. It joins all the bones of the cranium together. And then one ethmoid bone is the light spongy bone between the eye sockets that form part of the nasal cavities. And we'll take a look at uh, this uh, if we look inside the uh, the cranium and we see the cephanoid bone joining so here's our cephanoid bone it's in the yellow and we see that cephanoid bone is what is joining the uh, the the temporal bones the two temporal bones that are right here it's also joining with the uh, the the parietal bones right here and the parietal bones and so it's connected to that right there also connected to the frontal bone so this is our frontal bone and that's also connected there and the other thing is the ethmoid bone is right here which is in the nasal cavity and we can see that right here as well on the on the left side of the picture and that is also the connection point uh, for the uh, where the cephanoid bone connects to that as well. And I think this is our uh, occipital bone right here. So that's also the connecting to that as well. So we uh, so cephanoid bone is joins all the bones of the cranium together. Then the ethmoid bone, which is this pinkish uh, color, it is the light spongy bone between the eye sockets that form part of the nasal cavities.